is thirsty after thee, as a thirsty land. Hear me, speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me. It says, I long for fellowship, your own fellowship. I long for intimacy, intimacy with the Almighty God. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. In thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk. Says that's why I pant after you. That's why I thirst after you. I do not know the way, the way to your destination, and the way to my destiny that you have ordained for me. Only you know that way, that destiny, and that thing you have planned for me. Because I don't know, that's why I long, I desire, I pant, I pray, I want to know the way wherein I should walk. For I lift up my soul unto thee. I lift up my soul unto thee. Isaiah chapter 44. What are we panting after? What are we longing after? What are we desirous for? What are we praying for? What are we looking for? Isaiah chapter 44. Reading from verse 3, Isaiah chapter 44, reading from verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. That's the promise of God. It says he himself will pour the refreshing water, the reviving water, the cleansing water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thy offspring. It starts by talking about water, the water that refreshes us, the water that renews us, the water that revives us, the water that cleanses us, and I am son, and he says, I'm talking about the Holy Spirit upon us to be born of God, born of the Spirit, to be sanctified, sanctified by the Spirit, to be baptized and to be filled and to be immersed and to be empowered by the Spirit, to be renewed by the Spirit, to be revived by the Spirit. I will pour my Spirit upon thy seed, the people who thirst and the people who long after God. And it says, I'll pour my blessing upon thy offspring, verse 4, and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Lord's. Your testimony will be clear. You say, I am of the Lord. Another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. Another shall subscribe with his sand unto the Lord and so name himself by the name of Israel. I pray that will be true for you in Jesus' name. Psalm 55, verse 1. 55, verse 1. Oh, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. In the plural. Everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. The water of life. Come ye to the waters. The water of strength. Come ye to the waters. The water of the spirit. Come ye to the waters. The water of the word whereby we are cleansed and sanctified. Come ye to the waters. He that has no money, come ye, buy 
and eat. Ye come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. He invites us to come, invites us to seek, invites us to buy, invites us to pray, invites us to seek his face. And then he tells us in verse 12, for ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. Well, have peace and peace that passes understanding in Jesus' name. That's why we're panting after him. That's why we're seeking him. That's why we're longing after him. When there's confusion or commotion, when there's sorrow or sadness, and you want him to give you peace that the world cannot give, you want him to give you joy and happiness. You want him to give you satisfaction in life. He says, he shall go out with joy. Amen. And be led forth with peace. Amen. And the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Chapter 48 of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 48, I'm reading from verse 18. Oh, that thou art akined unto my commandments, then at thy peace being as a river, and a righteousness as the waves of the sea. That's why we're seeking the Lord, so that our peace will multiply. Your peace will multiply. Peace in your heart. Peace in your soul. Peace at home. Peace in your neighborhood. Peace in your community. Peace in the place of work. Peace in your family in Jesus' name. And your righteousness as the waves of the sea. Righteousness will multiply and be deep and be great and be high in Jesus' name. Look at verse 21. And he thirsted not when he led them through the desert. You'll never go through a wilderness without abundant supply in Jesus' name. He caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He claimed the rock also and the waters gushed out. That experience will come back again. It's in Isaiah chapter 41, reading from verse 17. Isaiah chapter 41, reading from verse 17. In verse 17, when the poor and the needy seek water, and there is none, thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. He'll do that tonight. You'll be longing and panting and desiring, and you've not got enough of what you are seeking. Tonight is a night of blessing, a night of outpouring, and a night when the Lord will satisfy everyone in Jesus' name. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar and cheetah tree and the myrtle and the oil tree I will search in the desert, the fir tree, and the, and the pine, and the box tree together. And now in verse 20, that they may see. I will see tonight. I will have tonight. I will receive tonight. What my heart is longing for, I will have tonight in Jesus' name. Say that for yourself. That they may see 
and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this. You must have that tonight. Fulfillment tonight in Jesus' name. A pouring of blessing tonight in Jesus' name. And the Holy One of Israel has created it. We're coming to Matthew chapter 5, reading from verse 6. Matthew chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 6. In Matthew chapter 5, reading from verse 6, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Tell me what you'll find there. Tell me, tell me. Are you wondering why maybe you don't have the righteousness you have been hearing about? Have you wondered why you don't have the ideal, the perfect, what you're seeking, what you're looking for, the righteousness? Have you wondered why your righteousness of today is not higher, is not greater, is not purer, is not wider, is not more extensive than the righteousness of yesteryears because there's no thirst? Because you are not thirsty, because you are not hungry. He says, blessed are they, all, all of us. Everyone that hungers and thirsts, everyone that pants, everyone that desires, everyone that is not putting righteousness on the shelf, everyone longing, everyone passionate about it, everyone praying about it, everyone that says, I'm not satisfied, it says, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Tell me what will follow. Tell me out aloud. For they shall be filled. The righteousness will not be minimal at the lower part of the glass of the cup. The righteousness will not have feel the cup, have feel the heart. The righteousness will be feel, will feel your cup, will feel your heart, will be overflowing in Jesus' name. But you know, it takes thirst. It takes desire. After caring about such righteousness, for your heart to punch after it and for your heart to desire it so much more than any other sin. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, we shall be filled. We shall be filled. You'll be filled in Jesus' name. Righteousness at home. Righteousness in the heart. Righteousness in the house of God. Righteousness in the place of work. Righteousness that is seen and known. Righteousness overflowing in our lives in Jesus' name. John chapter 7. John chapter 7. I'm reading from verse 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Any man thirst, let him come. When we're really thirsty, we'll go to the Lord in prayer. If any man is thirsty, let him come unto me will go to the Lord who is able to satisfy that thirst, who is able to fill us with the Holy Ghost, who is able to saturate us with the spiritual gifts, who is able to make the dry land like a stream of water, a pool of water. If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. 
no part of your life will be dry. Your mind will not be dry. Your soul will not be dry. Your spirit will not be dry. Your heart will not be dry. And even your body will not be dry. Blessing in every compartment of your life. Outpouring in every area of your life. Your soul, your spirit will be refreshed. Your body will recover if you are sick. The blessing of the Lord will flow through every part of your life in Jesus' name. It says, out of his belly shall flow rivers, plural, of living water. But they speak he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Now he's glorified, the Holy Ghost will be given. I said the Holy Ghost will be given. Look at Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2, verse 33. Acts chapter 2, verse 33. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he has shed forth this which ye now see and hear. We'll see it in your life. We'll hear about it, your testimony. Outpouring of the Spirit of God upon your life in Jesus' name. You're thirsty? I said you are thirsty. Blessings will come. Yeah. Revelation chapter 21. Revelation chapter 21. I'm reading from verse 6. And he said unto me, It is done. It is done. Yeah. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give. Here is the promise. I will give. An unfailing promise, I will give. An infallible promise, I will give. An irreversible promise from the Lord, I will give. Tonight it will happen. I said tonight it will happen. You will not go back home dry. You will not go back home weary. You will not go back home tired and worn out in Jesus' name. I will give unto him that is the thirst of the fountain of the water of life. Tell me the last word freely. It is for you tonight in Jesus' name. Uh, Revelation chapter 22 verse 17. Revelation 22 verse 17. And the spirit and the bride say, come. And let him that hear us say, come. And let him that is a thirst come. It says, if you are thirsty tonight for the blessing of God, for the overflowing blessing of the Lord, it says, tonight come, and whosoever will, you see there, whosoever will, I said, is she there? Whosoever will, are you there? Let him take of the water of life freely. Take of the water of life freely. Number one is the panting and the passion. But then you have to pray and praise the Lord. You need to open your heart 